Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Lat Long Patcher node. So we're going to start going over a few of the VR nodes. Um, there's only a few, but unfortunately, I believe most of the VR nodes are studio only. So I know this one is, but uh, yet another good reason to get DaVinci Resolve Studio. So let's go ahead and jump into Fusion. And let's say we've got our VR footage and uh, actually, let me just drag and drop some footage in here. There we go. So we've got our little VR footage here and uh, it's just a 360 of somewhere. <laughs> and uh, let's say we want to clean up some of the stuff. Um, we can see some of the tripod down here. We can clean up the tripod if we wanted. And I don't know, this gum or whatever. We, we just want to clean this up. Now you, you could technically go in here and use the paint and paint this all out. It's static. We don't have to do any tracking or if we, if it was moving, you could track and do all your tracking, but there's a better workflow for 360 footage. And that is using the lat long patcher. So what the lat long patcher is going to do is it's going to unfold a certain area of this, let you work on it and then patch it back together and uh, bring it back to 360 footage. So let's go ahead and input our footage into our lat long patcher. And if I bring this up, you can see what it just did. Now in our patcher node, we've got three modes, whether it's extracting, which is what it's doing right now. We're extracting that 360 footage. Once we do all of our stuff, we'll use the apply or we could use apply 180 if we just want that portion applied, but it's the same. But what you need to do is find the area you want to work on. And that's what this rotation is for. So we can rotate on the X, the Y, and the Z around our footage and find the area we want to work on. So let's say we want to get rid of this little piece of gum or whatever that is. We can add a paint node. So once we're looking at our paint node, we can select our clone and uh, let's go ahead and make our stroke last the whole, it's 95, so 96 frames. And let's go ahead and select something, hold alt, click, and let's clone over that. So now our little gum is gone. And let's make sure it lasted through the whole thing. It did beautiful. Now all we have to do is take this existing lat long patcher because we need to make sure we have the same information in our rotation. We're going to hit control C control V and we're going to uh, go ahead and patch that back up and it's going to look weird until we hit the apply mode. And once we hit the apply mode, what it, that is doing is it's unfolding back into that 360. And if we're just doing 180, we can hit apply 180. But for most of your 360 stuff, this is whether you select 180 or apply, it's going to work the same. But we'll just hit apply. And to be able to put our footage back together, all we need is a merge. Put this in our background, our new patched image in the foreground. And now we've got our image with the gum gone. And we're good to go. So that is the lat long patcher node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.